All right, hello everybody. Today's lesson uh, refers to uh, what to do with slope now that we know what slope is. So just a quick recap, uh, slope is just a number um, and we found graphically it describes how steep a line is and also what direction it goes in. Um, but it's also um, a rate. Slope is a rate of change. In fact, it's a constant rate of change. Um, and rates are things that can be extended, extrapolated, interpolated. We can use rates proportionally um, and that's what this is about. Um, so what I'd like to do is to demonstrate uh, multiple ways of answering the same question, um, all using a different approach um, to handling the rate that we're given. Um, each of these approaches should be familiar in some form or another, but I've decided to formalize them and put them all in one place. So, the first thing we have to do is look at the question and uh, determine what it is that we're supposed to be finding. Here it says that Mary can read 22 pages every 30 minutes. So how long would it take her, assuming this rate holds, to read a 100-page book? It says write your answer in hours and minutes and round to the nearest minute if needed. Um, so who cares about that? I'm not interested in the answer. Uh, but the first thing I should do when I read this is uh, see if I can figure out what the answer is going to be in the ballpark area. So step one, estimate the answer, gut feeling, what do you think? I'm guessing it's going to be about 140 minutes, and here's my reasoning. Um, I figured out that 22 pages in 30 minutes equates to 44 pages in an hour. So 44 pages per hour, I figure it's got to be just over two hours, somewhere over two hours, because in two hours we'll get 88 pages, and so that's my guess, is about 140 minutes, just more than 20 minutes more than two hours, is my guess. Then, Next step two, we need to express the rate of change, the slope, with a proper label. So take the information given <clears throat> and we can write this as a rate of change. So I could say 30 minutes for 22 pages or I could say 22 pages over 30 minutes. Usually um, what I like to do is um, say them both and figure out which one sounds the best. Uh, and You'll find it usually right there, but there's no wrong or right way as long as we're consistent throughout the rest of the process. But right here, I'm looking at pages per minute. 22 pages every 30 minutes gives me a rate of pages per minute. The other way would be minutes per page, which is also useful. You could tell how many minutes does it take to read a page, and then we could just multiply that by 100 and we're good to go. But uh, pages per minute as a rate of change makes sense to me because it's how fast she's reading. So I write 22 pages in a span of 30 minutes. Now that is not simplified. I can uh, divide top and bottom by 2 and get 11 fifteenths pages per minute. What that means exactly is she's reading about 73% of a page every minute that passes. So in basically in just over a minute she'll have a whole page read. Okay, so the second thing we can do, now that we know what the rate is, we can just use our understanding of that rate and just sort of build our way towards the answer. Let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, if we can read 30, pa uh, 30 minutes 22 pages, that means 60 minutes, 44 pages, that's what I figured out up at the top here, 44 pages per hour. I could double that again and say that, well then it would be 120 pages, in 88, so I, in 120 minutes we could read 88 pages, and if I just added another 30 minutes, it should be another 22 pages. So 88 plus 22 is 110. So now I know I could read 110 pages in 150 minutes. So the answer I'm looking for for 100 pages should be somewhere just under 150 minutes, which is around 140 minutes, which is around my guess anyway. Um, now sometimes when you're using this table technique, you can get right on the answer exactly. And there might be a way to do that here, uh, but I'm going to keep going. Number four, we should write a proportion. This would be uh, something you might have learned in Algebra 1. And for a proportion, all we have to do is set one rate equal to another rate to show that they are proportional. That's how it goes. So here's my proportion. It says I can read 11 pages in 15 minutes, which is the same rate as reading 100 pages in minutes. I don't know how many minutes, that's what I'm trying to find out, how long it takes to read 100 pages. You're doing this right if your labels line up. Pages to pages, minutes to minutes, that is we have pages per minute equals pages per minute. As long as those are lined up, everything's going to be fine. So now, what they said in, uh, um, in Algebra 1, God said to cross multiply to solve. I thought you might like to know why you do that. I'm going to multiply both sides by the common denominator, 15x. And on this side, the x's divide out, we multiply by 15, 100 times 15. And on this side, the 15's divide out, and we're left with x, 11 times x. You can see 11x and 100 times 15 cross multiply. So 11x 
equals 1500, divide both sides by 11, and we get 136.36 minutes, which is about 2 hours and 16 minutes, give or take. So that's what we have is the precise answer is 136.36 minutes, I guess that's approximation, uh, but I know it'll take just over 2 hours, 2 hours and 16 minutes, which is really, really close to my prediction. I was only off by about less than 4 minutes, so I feel good about this result. Now that we have the proportion sorted out, what did I do first of all? I used uh, my gut reaction, then I, I define a rate and use a rate table, or I define a rate and use a proportion, or I could define a rate and use a function. In order to do that, we need to notice that y represents pages, x represents minutes, so we should be able to say y pages, red, is equal to 11 fifteenths pages per minute times x minutes. The important thing to note here is we take x minutes times 11 fifteenths pages per minute, the minutes divide out and we're just left with pages. So y pages equals pages per minute times minutes. If you look at it, it's not that dissimilar to what I did over here. It's just rearranged just a little bit. I just basically brought the x over to the other side so that I get 100 pages equals 11 fifteenths times the number of minutes. Anyway, uh, you'll get the hang of this after you do a few of these, I promise. Uh, so here is y equals 11 fifteenths x, y representing the number of pages, so I replace pages with 100, and solve this equation for x. x equals 100 times 15 over 11, or 1500 over 11, and I get the same exact answer. It should get the same answer because this equation is really, really similar to this one over here, so I shouldn't be surprised by the outcome. But it's a different frame of reference, it's a different way of thinking. Now, if we were to look at this graphically, we would, run, we would represent this rate, uh, 11 fifteenths. We're going to represent that rate as a slope. So I'm going to start off by drawing 11 fifteenths as a slope. So you can see here with the ruler, I use millimeters in this case because of my scale to make 15 millimeters uh, would, would correspond to 15 minutes, and then 11 millimeters corresponds to 11 pages. So we have the slope indicated by the steepness of the line that connects these two vertical and horizontal pieces. Now to scale it out, I need to basically go all the way until, I need to extend this line until it equals 100 pages, which would be 100 millimeters. So I found 100 millimeters and I extended the line until it was 100 millimeters tall. Then I took my other ruler and extended it until I got back to the base of that line, which turns out to be just around 140, which is my approximation in the first place. So here, 11 is to 15, as 100 is to about 140 or so, which again is consistent with all the work that I've been doing. So we have, um, we have the ratio table, we have a proportion, we have a function, and we have slopes themselves. And all of that is confirmed. And just to really drive the point home, um, I have a Desmos application for you where all you have to do is enter your slope right here. It's going to show you the little tiny slope, um, a unit slope over 1, up 73%. So that matches. And then what I did is I took this point right here and I dragged it until I got to near as I could to 100 pages. So here's 100 pages. And here it is, 136.36 minutes. So um, this technology is confirming everything that I already confirmed multiple times. The goal here is not to get the right answer. The goal is uh, to be able to, um, to express rates in a variety of different ways. So very quickly, here we have a worker who can um, assemble 15 tape players. I don't even know what a tape player is, but uh, this dude can assemble 15 of them in six hours. At this rate, how many uh, can the worker complete in a 40-hour work week? So once again, first of all, if we could do 15 tape players in six hours, I estimate that it's probably going to be about 100 tape players in a 40-hour work week. Um, my logic there is shown. Um, seven times six is 42. Two hours, so seven times fifteen would be 105 tape players. So I'm guessing 100 tape players or so. Now to express as a rate, 15 players every six hours equates to a rate of two fifth players per hour, or in other words, two and a half players made each hour. If I make five every two hours, that's 50 every 20 hours, which is 100 every 40 hours. So that is confirming my guess is absolutely correct, and it's just using uh, scaling of my rate. Now as a proportion, the proportion says 
5 players is to 2 hours as y players is to 40 hours. Cross multiply, solve, and get 100 players. Once again confirmed. As a function, y players is 5 halves players per hour times x hours. Once again notice, this is players, this is players per hour, this is hours. If we multiply, the hours cancel and I get 5x players. So y players is equal to 5 times, or 5 halves times x. Now, x equals 40 hours, so we put 40 hours in for x, and sure enough, y equals 100 players. Same, 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 same. So I'll say the same thing using a different approach. Uh, once again, we've got the triangle approach using the slope. So first thing I did again is I made a slope of 5 halves. I made 5 millimeters over 2 millimeters. And then I extended that until I got to uh, 40 millimeters um, here. And I extended it up, and sure enough, when I extended my line, it matched up with a hundred. So one hundred is to forty, as five is to two. Um, all of my all ratios are proportional. And finally, the Desmos check, uh, just to drive it all home, uh, we can see all the different rates. First of all, uh, we make 2.5 players every hour, which means we're going to make 100 players every 40 hours. And you can see it's all along the same line with the same slope. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.